Hi, I'm David Harry, and in this particular video, I'm going to be showing you how to use a Macrium Reflect Rescue Disc in order to create disc images. So basically, once you've booted into your system, you'll be, you know, you'll be confronted with this screen here. And then what we need to do now is tell Macrium where the drive is that we want to make a disc image of and where we would like to put that disc image. Okay, so the first thing to do here is to go up to the left where it says disk image, click on disk image, and then on the right here, what you'll notice now is that you're gonna be presented with all the drives that are available on your system. You may only have one drive or you may have a bunch of drives, but however many that there is on your system will pop up on this window. So in my particular instance here, this disk here is my actual boot disk so this is my windows disk it's got a number of partitions on because i've got like a mac os on there as well as linux and a few other things as well all multi-booting off the one ssd but what i'm going to do is show how to do the entire disk i mean what you can do you can get into just doing singular partitions or a bunch of partitions from a drive but that's not what we're going to be doing here this is going to be to show exactly how to do the entire disk which is exactly what you would have to do if you want to back up say your windows boot disk okay so what you do you select the disk and then come down here to where it says disk image. Um, I mean, the other thing is as well, you, you could clone this disk as well if you wanted to just put it directly to another drive and then use that drive to reboot again. But again, like I say, in this particular scenario, we're just only concentrating on the actual disk imaging. So click on image this disk. And then what we do here, we're gonna be telling Macrium where we wanna put the image of this disk up here. So if you come down here to where it says folder, come along here to the tab at the end, click on that, and then you're gonna you're gonna see here all the drives attached to your system. So what you need to do is find out which drive that you want to put your file in or your disk image. In my instance, it's gonna be the G drive. I already have a, a folder in here called Macrium Disk Images. Now I don't need to create another subfolder for this one because I'm not actually gonna save my image. I'm just gonna take you up to the point of the save. Okay, so I'm going to go, okay, I want to put it there. Then what we do, we simply just click next. And then this is now getting ready to do the finalization, which is when you click finish, it'll go off and then just burn the disk image. So what we're going to do here before that, though, is this is one of my recommendations is to click on advanced options and go to auto verify the image and click that. Now, I've never had any of these images fail or be corrupted once they've been written, um, but I always use this just for peace of mind because if anything was going to happen during the imaging stage, then this would let you know that that's occurred because it'll double check the image once it's actually made the disk image. So click that and then just get on and click finish and then there it'll go, it'll just go off and then back up the drive to a disk image. Okay, yes, yeah, so towards the end of this video now, there should be some pop-ups on the screen. If not, they'll be down in the descriptions. And what they are, there's going to be another short video like this one, but showing specifically how to reinstall a Macrium disk image. And there's also a link to another video, which is quite a long one, but it shows you how to go and build an actual boot disk and with a separate partition on and all that stuff, you know, so that you can actually boot from a Macrium disk externally on a usb and then also have the same disk actually handle all your partitions sorry all your macrium disk images on a separate partition as well so check that out if you're in you know if you're interested in the macrium stuff and if you found this interesting maybe check out some more of my other stuff on my youtube channel or maybe even subscribe okay well thanks very much for taking the time to watch this video take care goodbye now